Uh, I'm the first guest, and it has been a lovely adventure, I have to say. And so many thanks to John and Katie for allowing me into their into their homes. And uh, their homes, me... their homes, their home. home. No, I said home. Have homes like a, you, you, know, you Mars, guys have Venus, homes, you know. <laughs> right? Yeah, Malasia does claim some some lands in Mars, don't they? I don't recall that. I'd have to ask him about that. I, I, I know they... that's true. I know they claim some land in one of the oceans, at least. Okay. At one point. Well, you know, who who wouldn't want that? But I know um... I do. <laughs> but so yes, um, at this, I'm I'm sorry. I'm trying to read over my list because I I there's so much to talk about, like this epic rager that was held in my honor. Because it's kind of like my birthday month, which I celebrate all all month long. Um, the the Millers were kind enough to throw a big trivia extravaganza last night. We all know the Grand Duchess loves her trivia, so <laughs> and I love parties, fun. and I'm great at them. I, I hope I didn't embarrass too many people. <laughs> I'm one of the best bartenders you could ever ask for. <laughs> I really am. I've had practice, <laughs> but um. So yeah, uh, it was great. I your friend uh, Pat Benkowski, who does these uh, trivia home trivia events usually, and it was such a different style from what I'm used to uh, when we do team trivia uh, in Atlanta. Um, so I, it was a very interesting uh, uh, way of of doing things. I, I thoroughly enjoyed the ladies only uh, little montages. <laughs> What? You you weren't a fan, John? No, I'm just like at her because she was also involved in those. <laughs> she was. She, I didn't win any of those. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I didn't get I didn't get I was confused by them. I was like uh one was do something extreme extreme. I see another uh, one of the other women jumped up like a spider monkey and attacked Katie. <laughs> <laughs> I was that was one of my favorite highlights. <laughs> I think it was one of hers too. <laughs> yeah, probably. <laughs> um, and uh, while I was here, I got to. I know that on my last episode, I I I gave uh, was able to present John with the Order of Saint Trinian for all of his involvement in uh, micronationalism, uh, which. Included when I brought out the uh, your medal for this trip, and included. I think that's Katie's. Yeah, that one's mine. <laughs> Spoilers, like, <laughs> but included letters of patent, you know, signed by Queen Anastasia herself. Yeah, I dare you to snap that one. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah, it's, 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 but, paper cut. <laughs> and then, yeah, I did have to. Open the box with my teeth and then like a uh, pretty woman style, almost, almost snap his fingers off. It was great. Um, and Lady Katie also was uh, raised with this beautiful order of St. Hildegard, which was again, upside down, but sealed, stamped with wax and all because that's how Ruritania likes to rock. <laughs> so, um, and we have the most majestic of 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 orders, wouldn't you? Wouldn't Katie agree? Yes, it's all so sparkly. <laughs> um, now I also had the the wonderful um, opportunity for the first time to watch Kickassia, and I think we should talk about that, John. <laughs> yeah. So I want to see you, this. It's on my list have, now. And you it, say it's it, on YouTube. I will be watching this probably tomorrow morning. Uh, it's it's a good watch. Um, we talked about this on the last show, and you still haven't looked at it yet? <laughs> I, I didn't have time. I'm, I'm a, not talking to you. I'm but, talking to Monkey. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's how you, you met President Ba and everything. Right, it was because of this film, and it is spectacular. Like it is so. I, I'm a huge fan of B movies, so the cheesiness of it, and the quips. Oh, the quips! 
Yes. Um, we're fantastic. Um, but what's your favorite part of the film, John? <laughs> oh, my favorite part is everything the president's involved in. He, he really showed <laughs> off. He has a great sense of humor and can play more than one character quite well. He does. He does. Um, I liked Bon Ba a lot, um, who randomly will walk into a room and whatever he says is always profound, like Silent Bob style of Jay and Silent Bob um, in anything. I thought that that was great. And if I may, uh, yes. if, I, if I may, what that's referring to is President Ba's minister of making things, making things orderly, Fritz Von Ba. I can play a brief random clip of Kickassia. You guys won't be able to hear it, so you'll just have to trust me. Okay. I'm going to play a brief clip of Kickassia. <laughs> Let's do it. Okay, let me unmute it. It's playing right now. It's you time. can't hear it, but it is playing. Yo. It's time. It's lovely. It's time. <laughs> it's time. It's time. <laughs> like, oh, that's cool. Yeah. And it's showing Melasia, so he's on yeah. his computer. It's time. It's time. <laughs> so there you go. That was a brief, brief. That's so awesome. There you go. So people get the reference. And you can find it. I found it really easy by just YouTubing Kickassia, K I C K A S S I A. And it's an uh, hour and 31 minutes long. It's like feature length. It's had 456,000 views so far. And hopefully we can bump that up for them because they did an excellent job. And uh, it was it was great. <laughs> um, mm -hmm. I, I was surprised uh, to find out because I messaged the queen and said, have you seen this film? And she was like, oh, of course. And she was like, I thought it was hilarious, which I thought it was funny, considering the language in this movie is not of the proper decorum of, of, of Ruritania. Um, I tend to get in trouble a lot about my language. So I just thought that it was great that my mother was a fan of it as well. Um, so well, speaking of Malasia, something epic has come out of it today, right? Was announced? It was a few I'll days ago, actually, yes. Oh, I know where you're going with this. It's all on you because this is this is your country. You get to make the, the special announcement. I hope that uh, Paul takes the hint that he needs to post. Well, I won't. <laughs> I won't say that's my country. Well, let's get that right because I don't want His Excellency bearing down on me later about this. I just wait, wait, mean it's what, from which you what, hail. What hint am I supposed to take? I'm missing the hint. I sent you a link for Malaysia. Malaysia. Malasia.org. Okay, I can, I can, I can make that happen here. And I would hope. <laughs> there we go. What's up? Okay, so go ahead. So what we see here is we have our newest natural-born Malasian. President Bob just welcomed his new granddaughter to the world. So the population is now up to thirty-three natural Malasians. Congratulations, Mr. President and First Lady. Yes, Penelope Rose, and that is such a beautiful name. I love it. So cute. I love that name. It's so beautiful. That's literally what I just said. <laughs> Apparently, it's <laughs> Penny for sure. You can't hear a thing anyone is saying. Our audio okay, jacks yeah. are crap. I'm, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just the eye candy. Sorry, yeah. monkey. <laughs> hey! Oh, hey, I'm the eye candy here. Hold on, hold on. You know what? I got to bring me back in this. There. Wait, hold on. There we go. Eye candy right there. Right there. Pointing at the yes. eye candy. There you go. There you go. Much more than that. She's been my hero to this whole thing, especially hosting the party and getting the palace ready. I can't do any of this without her. There's no way. Yeah. Are you saying that eye candy can't do more than just be eye candy? Of course eye candy can be more than eye candy. I just said that. I could, like I, I said, I could I'm eye candy, candy and look at all the things I'm doing. I'm also monkey. I'm monkey <laughs> and eye candy. Come on. Hey. Hey, I miss Micro World. All right, I'm the I'm kind of a big deal. All right, okay, <laughs> just okay. saying. But but no, uh, Katie has been a, an amazing hostess here. I, like the palace is lovely, and I can't wait to come back <laughs> on another trip. Um, so I'm la what? Be happy to have you again. Oh, perfect. <laughs> 
Um, also, uh, I wanted to discuss some of my uh, another portion of my birthday party. Now, John and Katie weren't in attendance for this, but uh, there's a band, uh, a local uh, to Atlanta band, um, and I sent you some links for that as well, uh, Paul. <laughs> oh, you want to go there now? Yeah. You want to? You want me to play the clip real quick? I'm gonna to get to the clip. Sure. Okay. You can no. play the you clip. Gotta wait a second here. Okay, you guys can kind of hear it here, but I'm gonna play the clip here. I'll let you guys know when the clip is over. We and we wanted to hear a little bit of the lead singer actually singing, and it sounds like they're singing a song by The Cure called Fascination Street. <laughs> so that all right <laughs> and there you go so that band that band is dark bloom and hopefully Paul and i went to their site links. now there's a Perfect. site and i, I got two the link to their to their site here on reverb nation yes because that you can actually listen to some of their music uh on reverb um and they uh we're, we're mutually, uh, uh, are, are we're both, shared it. we're both big fans of, of dark, uh, they're fans of me. I'm fans of them because their lead singer is, uh, the beautiful Kayla DeCant and, uh, they're one of the guitarists. He's actually Sean Darkbloom. Um, they are actually in the process right now to, of getting knighted by the Queen Anastasia for Ritania because they're so kind as to uh, be writing an intro uh, theme song for me, which is awesome. Which so we're going to get they, for the show? We're going to get for the show. All yeah. right. Yeah, some heavy yeah. metal. And uh, I told him I needed something about 45 seconds long, I guess. It was probably a good, good enough length. How long um, did you say? 45 seconds. Okay, yeah, that, that'll work. Okay, and um, so because my birthday begins on January 6th and continues the whole month of January, uh, they performed a concert on January 7th, at, which was my birthday party, the beginning opening, uh, opening ceremonies of my birthday <laughs> party. <laughs> so uh, it was great. And who else has a, a birthday party at a heavy metal show? No one. I I how many people long. were in the room? <laughs> I'm sorry. Go what? ahead. Come on, door. What I'll say, say it lasts a whole month. When the Grand Duchess wants to party, oh, watch out. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> oh, you have birth months too? So do I. That's awesome. Nice. I yes. like it. It makes life a lot more fun, you know? And uh, and on, on to dark, uh, past Dark Bloom, where I don't know how we're doing on time. I have no idea. We're we're at we're at seven fifteen seven sixteen. We're doing fine. We're doing good. Oh wow! I've like blown through all of this list. <laughs> no, you 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 haven't talked about like you said you were going to give us a tour. Where's oh, tour? I mean, I I can't really drive the tour around. The, but I... You can describe <laughs> in detail all the personal information of your guests. Oh. Hey, be careful there. There's a credit card number. Social social credit 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 num <laughs> their credit card numbers. I can Pin tell you the lie. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> this is the kind of tour well, that I'm envisioning. <laughs> well, they're they're still in remodeling. That's why I'm here at the soft opening. And so, uh, Jen, you can you can actually talk more about the the awesomeness of the palace. Well, if I may, your critique on this one, I will just fill in where I need to. So I, <laughs> I love having In other words, Morty, it's on you. Okay. <laughs> well, well, it's in a in a very quaint uh, area of town, and I love uh, on my travels seeing all of uh, well, you know what what's here in this ma macro nation um, of the United States. Boo, uh, macro nations, boo. Right. <laughs> Yay, micronations! Yay! <laughs> Not yes, of course. But uh, they have uh, 
the Bushido Arena, which is what I'm located in, and it's full of Japanese uh, inspired themes with awesome uh, samurai swords and daggers and a giant TV with video games and which we were playing the other night, which was really fun. Um, uh, they, uh, I guess it's PS4 or whatever we were playing. Uh, yeah, PS4, PS3, Wii U. There will be a Switch. It's also big enough that we held the uh, the trivia tournament last yes. night. Yes, and and I took some pictures, but because I had the phone up while I was sitting down, um, I didn't actually take very clear ones, except for. Benkowski's butt. <laughs> so I didn't want to. <laughs> I'll have to tell him about that. Yeah, I took pictures of his butt. <laughs> so, <laughs> but after the trivia tournament, um, we Ooh, went up. Hashtag. <laughs> hashtag Pat. What was Pat the winning Pat. trivia question? I want to see if I know it. Um, I don't remember. Capital of Portugal. Wait, is it Lisbon? Correct. Yes! I win! I win! I win! I am now yeah. the princess of Micronations! No? Probably Princess? No. 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 <laughs> I'm a what grand are we Dutch... admitting to here, Mr. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. Hey, don't, don't, don't ask, don't tell the question, okay? I'll stop it so bad. <laughs> But uh, we, we also, uh, afterwards, we went upstairs uh, where they had multiple tables set up for additional gaming because um, I'm a huge fan of board games. Uh, I was playing Codenames, which I think is an excellent game if, if you haven't played it um, because, you know, uh, Paul, I know that you're out there, you know, checking out all the ladies all the time. This is a great game to play with someone that you might. I'm just kidding. I know I'm, <laughs> you have. I know you have a lovely wife. I do. Wife. Hold, on. Case, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Other game. Go ahead. Hold on. <laughs> I, I am going to play a brief snippet on. It's going to be random, so it's not going to make any sense. But a brief snippet of how to play Code Names. Okay. That's so awesome. You want that? Yeah. Go for it. <laughs> oh, I went to YouTube there. Okay, there you go. Oh, no, no, hold on. I got to unmute it. Okay, hold on. Let me <laughs> unmute it. These. There you the go. The rest, you can return to the box. The okay. 25 you chose, you'll place in a 5x5 five 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 grid like Holy, you see here. There's a lot there of are words. rules included for two wow. and three-player games, but for a standard game okay. like we're going to teach here, you need at least four players. You need at least two four players? Two per team. Stand One member of each people. team will four be the spy players. master of that team. Opposing wow. so spy masters what, will sit to, side to by play, side. like, uh, with a potential partner, like, if, if for, like, a date. So that you can kind of see if y'all are actually a good match, you know, because of the way that it's played. That's what I find. So basically, you find out right away how much you're... Your potential partner rolls with the punches, how jerky they are, how much they'll leave you in the lurch. And if you if you have the same, uh, because you kind of, uh, it's like two spies, like, go into a park, and, like, one spy says to the other, the, the breakfast is at dawn in the rain with the umbrella. And then the other spy goes, but the newspaper only arrives on Monday. You know, so, like, that's... <laughs> That's so poetry to me. <laughs> that's that's postmodern poetry. I love it. It's great. Right. So you can kind of see like if y'all if y'all click, which I think is great. But um, of course, I'm playing this with total strangers, <laughs> like, except for except for Katie. <laughs> like, she was. Nice and all, I'm a total stranger to you. And we're playing code names. Mm. <laughs> true, true. That is true. Right. There is Cards Against Humanity. Um, that I think he's a better suit for. Oh, yeah. I'd love Cards Against Humanity. I know the concept is pretty cool. I know yeah, that actually, they they pay. They're they're trying to buy land to stop Trump from building the wall, which is so trolly. It's awesome. I, think I heard that. <laughs> I love that. I'm not taking <laughs> sides. I'm just saying I love trolly things. No matter no matter which side, I love trolly. I'm a big trolly. Oh, I'm fan. all for trolling. I'm, I'm all, all for, for trolling. trolling. In in fact, today I received a. Uh, 
oddly enough, uh, I was sent a Cards Against Humanity combo, which I thought was so hilarious that I sent it to the queen um, because it was with the black card saying, what would grandma find disturbing yet oddly charming? And the white card said civilian casualties. (laughs) 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 And I was like, I effing love this. And like sent it off to the queen immediately. So, um, but yeah. Uh, (laughs) And then, yeah, we also played Cards Against Muggles. Yes. Yeah. The Harry Potter Card, version of Cards, Cards Against Man. Muggles. See Cards if I can find Muggles. those images. By the way, as you're talking, I'm trying to bring up images of things. So I'm going to try <laughs> Cards Against Muggles. And there they are! Cards Against Muggles. There you go. And it's, it's a behind huge you. box. It's big a old, big old long <laughs> box. <laughs> it's up here, I can grab it. Just gonna <laughs> well, he's, he's showing it. There. Not... Yeah, it's I'm there. Sure. It's, it's, it's behind you. It's behind yeah. you. So, yes. I know. I can't. can you see it? There? Just keep looking. There? No, keep waiting. Oh, wait. Keep waiting. It's there. So, but it was really awesome. And it was, uh, and you have such a great uh, circle of friends. And they're so nice to have this crazy woman who is a grand F- duchess <laughs> come in and uh, interrupt y'all on a Saturday night. So, um, oh, we got a yeah. comment from Sean Darkbloom who said, yes! "We Uh-oh. we better get in the studio and finish that track for you." All hail Roritania! Nice, yes. There you go. <laughs> and Jean Pierre Quatre has joined, and he said hello from Paris. Uh, How you doing, Jean Pierre? Jean Pierre is uh. Jean Pierre and uh, the Princess Olivia, uh, Eugene Pan. Uh, uh, princess Olivia is like, she's my, my princess bestie. We're twinsies. She's so beautiful. <laughs> she's such a handsome woman. Um, handsome actually, I was discussing woman. her last okay. night. She is a very handsome woman. But Jean Pierre and uh, Olivier are uh, two of my biggest fans, which I love. Um, and in fact, when I go to Egg Mort, um, they're going to have a parade in my honor <laughs> throughout Egmort. If I may say something, by the way, Jean Pierre, you can pass on a message to Princess Olivia for me because I will still be her at Fan Etiquette any day of the week. <laughs> I taught him yeah. well. That's a yeah. shout out to Rankin McGillivray, by the way. How you doing, <laughs> Um, do you, yeah, you want to explain you, these references to the peanut well, crunching crowd that doesn't <laughs> get it? Like absolutely. me? Well, during the microcon, what a great icebreaker into the microcon, too, by the way, John. So I'm not just babbling away. Nice segue. <laughs> yes, thank you. Um, they did, uh, the Princess Olivia, she does fan dancing to kind of hide that she's indulging in the rose. <laughs> and. She, um, Rosé means she, water, of course. Right. Well, the I believe that their motto for for Egmore is uh, "live live life through in Rosé." I think. I think that's what it translates to. Sure, you were just not? agreeing with me. I'm gonna <laughs> nod my head. Water. Yes, even well, you can't. Nobody could see me nodding my head. Yes, but you can hear me nodding my head. Yes. <laughs> I have no idea whether it's true or not, but it sounds. Yeah, I was great. asking. I was asking John, but it's fine. Uh, so you, John and, and Olivia had a kind of fan battle, correct? Indeed. I just <laughs> decided to borrow my wife's fans, a little bit of an icebreaker. It ended up being a great laugh, and we yeah. just got along great. The gala was was uh, epic. Right? I mean, but that it was it was wonderful. I, the whole conference was amazing, you know. Um, Yes. Made Speaking for some of, great memories, though, that's for sure. Indeed. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> and uh, so many, like, everybody is so interesting who, who came out to the microcon. I cannot wait for the one in Toronto, you know? But hey, I what's told, the latest news on the one in Toronto? I believe that they're still trying to figure out where, uh, I, actually, King George told me he's going to find a haunted hotel. Ooh, I like yes, that. that I cool. know. 
Yes, because I I actually posted recently my bucket list uh, that I wrote a few years ago, and uh, on it is stay in a haunted hotel room. Um, I stayed at a haunted hotel in Savannah, Georgia, for our Valentine's Day trip uh, at the. Uh, oh, I'm assuming this is King George, George C. Bragg. That's the yeah, correct. Yeah, okay. we had him on the show. <laughs> okay, <met> him. <laughs> King George. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Lackey Cog's not remembering. What's wrong with you? Hey, 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 hey. I'm a monkey, <laughs> not a lackey. Uh, <laughs> official announcement coming soon. Yes. Yeah. So that the haunted hotel is is probably the the, the spoiler secret because they had posted it on my Facebooks <laughs> so, to everybody. I'm telling everybody, if you're watching the show and you're enjoying it, be sure to share the show with your friends. You hear me typing it, yeah. too. There you I go. I do, and I applaud it because, you know, your friends, your family, your mom. Strangers. Like, your, I don't care. Your dad, he already knows and watches. And so, like, <laughs> yeah, come out with your micro self to your dad. Do it. Your <laughs> that doesn't mean what you think it means. <laughs> it could. It could mean Maybe. anything you want it to mean. Yeah, You're right. Mad, you know. Um, but I, I, I think my favorite part of of this show is that we kind of get to talk about micronationalism that to people that don't really know. You know, like yep. our our normies of the friends uh, of 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 our circles. I'm one of the normies. I'm a normie. Yeah, I would, I'm your normie for the evening. Hold on. I want everybody to see me waving at them. Hi, I'm your normie for the evening. There you go. <laughs> now they saw me. Now I'm back. I'm going to disappear again. It's like one of the those comments they put on YouTube that we're all autistic, which I love. Um, it's not wildly offensive at all. <laughs> you know? So if we're, we're autistic, then they're the, they're the normies. That's what you, That's what they call them. <laughs> Well, if we're all autistic, it's not an offensive word anymore now, is it? Like, you're not a, a micronation, uh, micronationalist yet. I mean, uh, you support our kind. I do. But you're still an anarchist. I'm an anarchist, and yeah. Hey, I'm more aligned with micronationalists than I am macronationalist. I mean, you heard me I mean, booing the macronational stuff. Yeah, I'm all well, about booing that. Yeah. Uh, well, time. I mean, uh, Collier's the uh, president of Up. A party? You, he's, you he's my identical twin. He's my identical twin. <laughs> he's right. the he's the the grand poobah something or other. I don't know what his official title is. I don't think his Upadaria. title is that. But he also no, it's not is, grand poobah. That was a joke. But I don't remember I, what his title is. I think it's president or king. Or, well, he's the president know. of Prussia. He may be the imperator. He's uh he's trying oh, to yes. revive Prussia, which I fully support. So you support uh, the micronation of Prussia, but not of Eupidaria. That's what I'm hearing. I support Eupidaria. Okay, that's good. That's good. I what just, did you call I, it before? Updaria? Up, what did you up, call it? Updaria. Updaria. Because that's how it's spelled. I don't know. <laughs> George, uh, King George said there's very little normie about Paul Gordon. I don't know if that's true. <laughs> I don't know. But Eupidaria. You're in with us now. So. That's <laughs> yeah. I've fallen into the micro side. So uh, Eupidaria is I, it's pretty cool. It's uh, it's actually it comes the word comes from uh, four core uh, what does he call it the the four core principles whatever he calls it unity and diversity uh, democratic equality uh, excuse me what's oh my gosh I can't remember P. Oh my gosh, I'm throwing a total blank on plea. I can't remember P, but D is democratic equality and R is rule of law. And it's how all of these uh, four principles work together to help sustain, to create and sustain uh, a more harmonic community. It's cool stuff, man. It I'm is. Down with the, I'm, I'm down with the UPO. <laughs> I'm down with the UPO. <laughs> okay. I'll tell him I said that. I <laughs> I, uh, okay. <laughs> well, you're, he should be watching. He's not here. He's not anywhere to be found. I think he's watching football right now. Oh. Well, I will have words with him. You should, you should be very happy with football. Right <laughs> like, like, oh, I'm very happy. 
at the present moment in time, I'm very happy. After le- yesterday, uh, I know everybody loves talking about sports balls. I feel like micronationalism and sports balls goes hand in hand. It's like people who play Dungeons and Dragons, of course they watch sports balls. That's a that's a given, right? Oh, forgive me for this. We're not talking about other kinds of balls, Mort. <laughs> so we're, not talking, we're not talking about sports balls. <laughs> Her eyes just got big as saucers, and then they closed. <laughs> we're talking about the eagles going to the nfc championship game after holding off the falcons for the win 15 to 10 if i remember what's the final yep 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 okay. it was quite a ride it was quite a ride sure good job you're welcome you had a lot no, of i totally crashed it. your show didn't i, <laughs> I talking about sports she's completely left out <laughs> Is Katie, Katie, does Katie watch the sports balls? Yes, she does. Though she'll never tell you if she does. What? It's secret. You watch, you watch football. Ish. Say ish. Ish. My wife won't even go near me when I'm watching the sports balls. Because I get too verklempt, I'll just say. Things the have been thrown. Be said. The same, same can thing. be said for her. So, oh, and you but, had a rough year. You're a Packers fan, so you had a bit of correct. a rough year. Yeah, and oh, you I'm had that. About it. You had that seesaw <laughs> ride, you know. Rogers goes down. You look like you're tanking, and then you start that revising, and then Rogers comes back, and you're like, "This is it. We're gonna." Oh. Uh, we ran the table last year. We've had a great run for the past uh, what about six, seven years? Uh, five out of six <laughs> NFC North titles, the Super Bowl. Yeah, we're fine. I'm cracking <laughs> up watching Morty right now. <laughs> She has no idea. Coming up next on ESPN, we're going to talk about the Clippers versus the Jazz. Or whatever. Look, I, I can sit around and talk about Warcraft lore if you'd like. And, do, and do, you think LeBron James, do you think LeBron James <laughs> is going to take Cleveland to the finals this year? <laughs> I'm not. Well, I'm going to shut finals? up. Yeah. Hey, actually, I've actually started playing Overwatch, which is a, a first-person shooter, which is not normally my cup of tea, but I've been playing. Um, my my son, uh, Papa Brian, he actually uh, was playing with a bunch of friends. <laughs> He's going to be so mad that I said this. Um, we, <laughs> I was playing I with a bunch of friends. I don't believe she just did. <laughs> he completely <laughs> turned it around on his ball. Now we're completely lost. Yeah. I so, she, she voice chat. you know what you did you went like we were like kind of the outer edge of the nerd hole and you went I'm going deeper yeah and now we're like it. can't go with you man can't go with you down there <laughs> no we're, we're, we're doing like two v two v twos three v ones you know like a couple of us a couple of my friends versus uh, some other ones my 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 son was on the opposing team against against me and. Across across the Discord, my son just blurts out, "Hang on, let me do my mom." <laughs> like, wow, <laughs> that is a sentence. You do you definitely want context for that sentence immediately? <laughs> like immediate. You don't want it to float out there longer than a millisecond before you get the immediate follow up, because otherwise, <laughs> silence across. Here's the, the follow. Wow. Other and then I here. go, Bubba, I know that this is difficult. By the way, Bubba is Prince Nicholas. Of Hello, Rutania. Prince Nicholas. Yeah. He, uh, I was like, Bubba, I know this is difficult because you are my son. But when you have a thought, don't open your mouth. <laughs> like, oh, Ever again. Ever again. <laughs> You have this you have demonstrated. You you're gonna get it, kid. Like, your mother is basically calling you out. <laughs> you, demi- you are in trouble, <laughs> my friend. It's over. It was, it was the greatest thing ever. It was the dumbest thing he could have ever said. It was great. I love it. He's gonna show <laughs> up the next kid. day wearing that T-shirt that says that. So <laughs> it's just gonna. Oh There's a hashtag. <laughs> hashtag. <laughs> Hashtag don't do it. Right. <laughs> Hashtag dueling banjos. Right. Dun, 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 dun. Wow. Yeah. The, <laughs> the, the embassy in is located nowhere near Alabama. <laughs> so, Ooh, hey. no. 
<laughs> I can easily combat that with Roll Tide. Ooh. <laughs> Go Penn State. Hey, spoiler uh, off. Hey, all, all Go of Penn the State. streets have been, uh, we, we, they won't ice over because they've been covered in all of the salty tears. I got the because of uh, because of that game that shut down all of the schools. Um, that shouldn't ice the uh, clear the roads. Right. <laughs> should. Although I don't really understand about because it doesn't really snow ever in uh, where where I hail from. So all of the salt and and snow plow stuff I'm just flabbergasted by because it's not we don't have those. But We've regardless, had of that up here. <laughs> Are we ready to head into Squirrel News? I was about to say that. I, I know, thought you we were. To... Yeah, I literally was about to say because this I is felt I'm burning sadly I... for my Christians. I felt the Squirrel News look coming from Good. you. Good. It you was know, it was a vibe. We're, we're going to get to the first aware... story. Are are you aware... first? Are you aware that if you go to Google Images and search Anti Squirrel Grand Duchess. I appear above oh, Kate Middleton. Hold on, hold on. Let's do this experiment. You guys can't see it. Everybody else can. I'm gonna go. I am typing so everybody can see that I am typing. What am I typing? Anti Squirrel, Anti -squirrel Duchess. Is that Grand it? And Duchess. Grand. What? Wait. Won't come up with Duchess. I'm gonna try I'm a just Grand Duchess. Duchess. I'm going to try just Duchess and see. Oh, no. Anti-Squirrel Duchess, it doesn't come up. Okay. All right. Let's try Grand. You need Grand. You you got to do some SEO to come up for Duchess, too. I'm just saying. All right. Anti-Squirrel Grand Duchess. There it is. I'm going to click me? on it. There it is. Right there. Yep. You are seen. You are being seen. Yeah. You are for the scene. I that's actually that's a pretty cool photo. Is that one of your Comic-Cons thing? Um, I think I was going to Wizard World uh, in Austin. I didn't mean Comic Con. To meet I'm Bruce in Campbell. It's a cosplay, right? Yeah, my I, I'm a fairy of ostentatiousness. So yeah, I'm actually one of the few micronationalists that does cosplay, because um, everybody thinks that we're cosplaying because of that Captain Crunch looking mf'er. <laughs> oh wait, wait! Can I, I'm gonna get a close up of you there. Could you stand up and show your outfit or do, do like it's uniform. show your gear? It's not an outfit. It's show uniform. your gear. Look at the computer a little bit here so you can see the, the whole thing. There we Why go. not? So we're going to yes. hand up, you know. There you go. in everything. So there you we got to go. get the full show, actually. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Well, if you'd like to see a better display of his uniform, you can actually see it on the, the Vice video um, where people comment. <laughs> <laughs> Wrong comments to say the least. So mean. So mean. It's Do they accuse case. you of LARPing? Have there been LARPing? They accuse us of LARPing. Yeah. yeah. And it's offensive. <laughs> We're not LARPing. This is this is life. They don't know about so. us. They don't know about love. No. So uh but squirrels in the news, you know. Squirrels in the uh, news. Let's, because let's, I constantly are, Which one are we gonna get to first? And if I may take a second. Katie here was actually playing intern for Squirrel News today. So what I want to do is please switch. Oh, yeah. okay. <laughs> yes, because I desperately would love so wait, to have Katie pick these stories. So Katie is complicit yes. in these choices. Okay, all right. Yes. I yes. got you. Malasia. Look at this. You can see me. You know what? I want a studio audience to see what I'm doing here. I'm going to appear. See that? Eyes on you. Eyes on you. <laughs> yeah. After after my presentation at the microcon, I was actually approached by several uh, micronationalists, of course, um, who, uh, including uh, Adrian Ba, the first lady of Malasia, who, by the way, wears a tiara, which mm -hmm. is wonderful. Um, she was like, "We hate squirrels too," and like, and so Malasia has joined, like my fight. To help save people. So our first story is going to talk about how the squirrels uh, were, were grinching Christmas this year. Just want to let you guys know, this is from Fox 8. And Fox 8 is known to have ties to Russia. 
So you can take this story with that in mind. Go ahead. <laughs> so what you 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 want to talk, Katie? <laughs> like, um. Well, uh, this was the one about which one was this one again? You got to remind me. I, why don't I read like, the story? Never okay, mind the Grinch. <laughs> <laughs> Never mind the Grinch. It was nearly a squirrel who stole Christmas. One Jersey town lies. All officials in the Seagirt, New Jersey, were perplexed after they found wires to the town's Christmas display from last week. NBC4 New York reports, after workers repaired and replaced the wires for Friday's Christmas tree lighting, pe police posted on Facebook Saturday a picture of the suspected vandal, which had four oh, yeah. legs and a love for acorns. And there it is. You can see... Mm -hmm. It's from the Seager Police man. Department. <laughs> there, they, they can see it behind you. There you go. I read the story. Yep. <laughs> I know. Like all I see. No, is not wall, not you. <laughs> behind Katie. Behind Katie. Not oh. you. Behind Katie. I still don't see it, but okay. <laughs> um, <laughs> it, yeah, Katie did such a great job interning for me today because I uh, I desperately need an intern to do this job. <laughs> I get into a hot mess. She'll she'll agree. I turn I into a hot to mess. Stay in with the superhero. <laughs> <laughs> yes, she did. Yes, she did. Um, so then the next story that you're going to the next story. This is, is the fat squirrel. A fat squirrel eating. I can children. relate to this story. But I'll, oh my anyway. gosh, this just freaked me out. I'm like seriously, this kid had his entire hand bandaged. You said like, are you, what? <laughs> are you posting this picture? It's the there. News? Fat squirrels oh. <laughs> go nuts at Country Park as children are attacked for food. Yeah. yeah. Like, literally, like, kids will put their hands down and six squirrels came up and, like, just attacked this kid. And I'm like, There's no, a picture of the kid. No. Look at him. He looks like a punk. Looks like an antagonist. Hey, looks like a Russian hey. antagonist. Are you, are you saying that that kid was asking for it? Pretty much. Oh, if a squirrel please. messes you up, you probably deserved. Oh, oh! Here's a picture. Two-year-old Zach Mitch from Red Blood Red Ruth feeds the hungry squirrels with Dad Ryan at to Heidi Woods, which are said to be the best fed in Britain. Oh, this is Britain. Yeah. Oh, that, that makes. Sorry, sense. I'm British. Oh, you are. That's why she's so pale. <laughs> On my dad's side of the family, yeah. I'm like ninety percent German. So I'm kind of related. We're related. We're Anglo, yeah. whatever. Yeah. <laughs> We're this. Although I am 4% Neanderthal, which is what you brutes call us, which is really <laughs> OP, original people. And the 4% that I am, that's the, most, that's the most salient point of who I am. I am the original people, and I want my lands back. Europe, looking at me. <laughs> um, <Just> saying. <laughs> okay. I think I've said that in every episode so far. <laughs> You know, you know, Paul, I wasn't going to mention this, but my uh, my fella told me that you talk too much on my show. <laughs> Your fella is... <laughs> Maybe he's right. Yeah, he might be. <laughs> he might be. I was trying to be nice and keep my mouth shut, but, you know... You that football. will never happen. <laughs> <laughs> Zip it. <right>? <laughs> <laughs> Um, but so then our final story, and this one is great because it, uh, includes video captured video. Oh, okay. it's the, the police story with, okay. Yes. This one yeah. shocked the crap out of me. I got tagged <laughs> in this one. I shared it cause, uh, a few oh, weeks ago when it, when it became a, a known, because since I did my presentation, it seems like the squirrels have militarized. They have become increasingly more aggressive because I am spreading that word. That these are vile vermin that should be eradicated. Yes, they've gotten more obnoxious in my backyard alone. I go outside and all of a sudden I hear them chewing on nuts right over my head. And I'm like, no, just go away. <laughs> go away. I don't want to hear you. <laughs> Rude. Rude. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, you want me to play the clip? I have it ready. I would I will, yes, please play the clip. It's 15 seconds long, so you guys okay. won't hear it, so I'll just let you know when it's over. Here, I'm going to turn your radio on. The squirrel turned it on? Yeah. 
Yeah. Isn't that crazy? <laughs> uh, this this oh, officer right at him. <laughs> wearing his oh, chest cap. Oh, that was awesome. <laughs> he lunges. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> Not awesome. They're deadly. No, I know. It just like no. you're <laughs> out of me. Saw it. I'm like, what is going on? This can't be happening. <laughs> so that was our squirrels in the news, and uh, I guess <laughs> I, I I think uh, I I think that it's good that I have this opportunity to show the dangers that they are, are, are protruding, you know, cause I'm fighting that fight since my grandmother uh, is no longer with us and she hated them too. And so that's why we continue our ban uh, from, from our grounds. So yes. And now Paul, keep it, keep it going. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> and so Paul, if you want to talk now about your uh, promotions for your nine shows a week, um, oh, your top oh. 100, your your radio station. <laughs> well, the radio station coming. still isn't here, but I'm working on that. There will Ladies be. Ladies and gentlemen, it's happening cheap gratuitous blogs. <laughs> it's going to be yeah. isradio.com is what it's going to be. I have the domain. Uh, and right now I do shows on, I do Facebook live shows like, like this is on the Liberty Principal Facebook page and also my personal Facebook page, Paul Gordon. I do. Headlines you may have missed Monday through Friday at 12.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And these are headlines that maybe people aren't talking about. And I focus mostly on, like, strange world news stories that nobody's talking about that maybe you should be. And a lot you, of tech. You never include squirrels. You never include the squirrels in yours. I don't. I don't pay attention at all to what the squirrels are doing. Other it's than if I see they're doing something good, I, I'll highlight that. And then I do Is Daily, which is a evening show I have. Every day I have a different host, Monday through Thursday, and we, we cover a variety of topics with uh, liberty focus, if you'll say, if I'll, I'll, I'll say. I'll just say that. There liberty you go. That's it. He, he means anarchist. Yes, you can find everything. <laughs> okay. You can find everything at iState.tv. All the links yes. and everything are there. Yeah. I think it's great um, that you, do, you help you know, do the show for micronationalism, which is for government, but you're like anti-government. <laughs> so. I'm not anti-government. I'm anti-coercive government. I'm coercive. not, I'm not, I'm not anti-governance. And one of the reasons that I do this show is I actually think that uh, micronationalism has a lot of cool ideas that anarchists use to create, to create their own liberty here and now instead of waiting around for it. And I think, you know, my hope is that there's some cross-pollination that'll occur. Maybe we'll get anarchists and micronationalists talking to each other a little bit. I know one of the people that was here earlier, Ty, Ty Agananda Swaraj, he, he was commenting earlier. Uh, he, he watches the show as much as possible. He's one of my anarchist friends. So, so yeah, I'm hoping I, for that important. cross-pollination. Yeah, that's great. <laughs> I mean, it's kind of the same. Like, you know, we were sick of... We're sick of how things are going in these macro nations, um, and we we can do it better. With the exception of Jedalecki, the uh, the uh, asshole president. There's no other better word of douchebaggery, Lieberland. Although I always call it Lieberland. Um, actually, he's uh, there's a there's another podcast that I'm going to be featured on. Um, because he's being interviewed by Keith Petit, uh, as as I will be too, um, so that'll be awesome to hear what what Keith has has said to him. Because I look forward to that interview, but I won't tell too much about it. But on mine, I'll be promoting I State and uh, of course Sports Minutes. And, and, and you and know, I State, topic. by the way, is the smallest micronation micronation of them all. It's the I State. That's what it means. Right. Smallest just micronation. You. We're all I states. <laughs> we just don't know. Are we? We uh -huh. just don't know it. We, we're not hashtag woke. <laughs> oh, I hate that. You know, <laughs> when I first started doing a lot of this kind of content, I started off with stateofwake.com. And then everybody started. Oh, is that using... why you stopped? 
Because everybody started using that woke thing for like all the reasons that I'm like, no, 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 no. I don't mean like that. And I'm like, you know what? Screw Stay Awake. I need a new name. And that's what I'm Darn trends. Yeah. Yeah. Damn childish Gambino with your red phone song. Yeah. Hey, woke. (laughs) Mary Breen says Morticia looks and is lovely as always. Oh, I miss my Mary. She moved to Montana. It's been forever. I can't wait to see her next. I might have to go to Montana. <laughs> and we have uh, looks like looks like we have eight minutes left in the show. Just I forgot oh. to tell you what fifteen. <laughs> like I was supposed to. Well, I mean, I I have gone through my agenda, so I just want to remind you and my other viewers who haven't had the pleasure of watching Hikassi yet, they have to watch it. They just have oh, to. Oh yes. It is, it is actually the entire reason, I think John has mentioned this before, but the entire reason that he and I are even in the microsphere now is right. because of Kikassia and the Nostalgia Critic and all of them. Hey, they have a, a, they being the Millers, have this great habit of they get food, they go home, they eat the food and watch a movie. And mm-hmm. it's always nice. And I like that tradition. I can, I can get behind yeah. that. And they're I can like, put well, my mouth in that. Watch. <laughs> what do you want to see? And I said, I I don't know. And they've got a billion movies here. Essentially our own movie store. Right. Yeah. Oh, and they took me to a video store where we Yeah, because we actually have them here. Whoa. <laughs> I have not seen right? one in twenty Whoa. years when I had a knockdown drag out fight with my best friend growing up, Missy. Um, because she lied and said she saw Freddy versus Jason and I went off on her <laughs> in the blockbuster. <laughs> 25 years ago. Anyway. Hey, those uh, don't exist anymore. It's a family <laughs> video. Right. It was amazing. Um, and they asked me what I wanted to see, and I had no idea what to pick because there were so many choices. And I don't know where John goes, how about this? Poop. And, he, and it's, yes! I want to see that! No! <laughs> like, and it was epic. Yeah, I want to see Kikasia. And I would recommend all of my anarcho libertarian whatever friends check out Kikasia as well. And I I cuz it's, I, it's tight. <laughs> like, and, and I want to recommend to micronationalists that you guys check the idea of putting your micronation on the blockchain. Yeah. On the blockchain. Float that idea out there. Put your micronation on the blockchain. Okay. I don't know what that means. Maybe the next show, maybe we can try to figure that out a little bit more. Okay. Um, I do uh, know that since um, my show is kind of on hiatus over the holidays, uh, that uh, I've been granted to do two episodes this month. So this is one of them. So the next one will have to be the, not this Sunday, but the following Sunday. Because this Sunday is the NFC championship game. And and homie all, don't play all the world that. stops for that. What? Oh, yeah. That's the what Eagles. What weekend is that? That's, That's this, one, uh, this next one. The 28th? Okay, I might, sure. I might, yeah, no, 28th. I, I, no, today's the 14th. Yeah, it's 14th, not, so that'll be the 28th. Yeah, today's 14th. Yeah. Uh, okay. Yeah. I, I, ha- I was, we're, I'm we're showing great spirit here, here, showing math in our heads, and it's not working. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody said there'd be math. I'm supposed to be traveling. <laughs> Again, uh, that weekend. I don't know. We'll have to see. We're, we'll, I can't. we'll have to see. We'll figure we'll it out. We'll have to see. Um, however, uh, so I'm hoping because um, I've had to kind it, of, I wait, like to wait, do riddles. Wait, let me just ask you real quick. Are you yes. traveling like the weekend? Are you traveling Friday? Yeah, Is I'm it traveling. Poss- oh, you're leaving Friday. No, um, well, I would be leaving Friday night. Okay, never mind. All right. Anyway, continue with your riddles. Well, we'll, we'll discuss the date, and I'll announce that we'll later. Work it out. Yeah, yeah. Um, at, at any rate, um, you've made me lose my train of thought. <laughs> riddles. I love riddles. Riddles. Yes, I like to do a little riddle about who my next batch of guests will be. Um, and because of, you know, the holiday schedules and everything and stuff having to get you know, tossed around, it kind of messed everything up. And so I feel really bad to uh, Travis of West Arctica. I feel like the worst person on the planet. Um, and uh, doing Corbett, he was unavailable the weekend that I had selected for him, which I was unavailable for as well. Um, and 
and you with your, your busyness, um, Paul. Uh, but I am hoping that I will be able to have King Emmanuel of Amanathea on, uh, on next. Um, he is uh, a, I an admire, all around wonderful human being. He is that he, way. I, that's, I was trying to find, without sounding over the top, but he is one of the most admirable people I have ever met. And he does so much good work um, all across the world. Uh, and he's just a beautiful person. And so I'm hoping that he will be my next guest on the show. So, yes. Um, yeah. So I guess I, I guess we're done. I guess we're done. I'll go and show everybody's labels again. There's everybody's labels. Everybody can see the labels. <laughs> and uh, and a big shout out to the MOCC because I know that they, they all watch the show huddled around each other on the front porch, which I think is great. And uh, and many thanks to the Millers for allowing me to stay at the Corsair Palace. So Well, we love having you. Good. <laughs> I love being here. So. All right. And I know he's been on the show, but thank you for having me. Yes. I, I'm i flattered to have finally some more, you know, female, you know, girl power. Female power. Yes. <laughs> yes. Without being feminist. <laughs> We're not it's feminazis. Sure you know. Yeah. <laughs> right. So, yeah. Um, that's, that's it for me. So, toodles. Toodles, Pip. <laughs> we'll see you guys when we see you, I guess, on this on this channel and also you can watch the replay on here and i'll also be posting uh on a video YouTube. on the youtubes on the i state youtube channel and yes. thank you everybody and 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 by name thank you commodore jonathan miller and lady katie is that is that lady katie mm -hmm. yes. uh, for joining us here on marticia's micronational minutes Okay. <laughs>